now that we have our basic studio setting up and running, it's high time to really add some networking. Since in the past I had the opportunity to uh, work a with uh, Miro and uh, also the, the Photon engines, uh, Pan and Bolt, uh, but never had the opportunity to use one of the newer products like Fusion or Quantum. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to just go through the Fusion 101 or 1100 as they call it here uh, and just follow these steps and do a little tutorial type of uh, introduction before applying hopefully the nice new features to our own program. And uh, yeah, this is what we will be doing in this short Fusion 100 series. First things first, Fusion 101 getting started. So in order to do anything with the Photon Engines, you need to have an account here, an, a Photon account, which you can, Photon Engine account, which you can create by following this link here. I already have one, so I won't do this now. Uh, the second step is to download the SDK, which you can get here. Uh, then click on the Fusion SDK Unity download, which I already did, so uh, I also won't do this here. And after this, we are checking the Unity requirements. You, you need at least the 2020.3 at the time of this recording, .xlts or above, which I already have. And then we can go on and actually start our empty project. See you in a minute. Okay, let's see what we have to do to create our empty project. So um, we are also doing a 3D core project. And uh, then we have to prepare the project for Fusion by uh, setting some Unity settings. So we have to set the serialization mode to text, to force text here. Uh, and we have to... Uh, to achieve this mono sessile package is used. The package can be installed with a package manager, so we need to add the mono sessile package. Then we can actually import the Fusion SDK and create the app ID. So this we will do in the next step. So let's run it. First of all, we create our empty project. Where is my Unity Hub here? So I will also use the 2020.3 version as it's used in the, in the sample. We will call this in the source temp folder this uh, fusion sample project, create the project um, bop, 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 bop. while it's creating. Let's check. We are then going to the project settings editor asset serialization mode. Here's our project. Now let's uh, see. We go to the project settings, go to the editor, and there should be something with serialization. It's already on false text, so we are ready to go here. And the second thing is to import the Cecil. Let's check it, how it's called. Uh, look at mono Cecil one dot whatever. This package must be added directly from a URL, so it's not in the registry of Unity, so we will copy this URL. Ah, now I got it. And then we go to the package manager and do the add from URL here, add from git URL, add this one, and edit. And hopefully it's now installing. And after some time, we have the Cecil package installed. The next step is import the actual Fusion SDK, which we already downloaded in a step before this. So let's go ahead, go to the project settings, to our assets. We say import a package, a custom package. And let's take this one. And it's being imported. So I think we import everything. And once this is imported, we are ready to go. And this is the next step. We need to create an app ID. Since I want to publish the source code we will be creating within this little tutorial, uh, let's just create quickly a, a Git repository for this new project. 
So we are in our sources folder, we are initializing git and uh, let's download a git ignore. Uh, let me see where is my URL, it's here. So git ignore, git ignore with a dot like so. Let's check the status, looks good. Git add minus minus all. Let's check a status one more time. Looks good. Git commit minus message feature initial commit. And here we go. I will push it later. And now we can continue. Okay, the next step is also quite straightforward. We need to create an app ID for Photon, for Photo Fusion. So uh, we can just follow a link. I think it's here is a link. So we follow this link. Will be I'm already logged in. Res, we create a new app. Let me make this a bit smaller, like so. Create a new app. We are using the Fusion Engine. Give our app a name. It's not a multiplayer VR sample. It's a, a Fusion sample. And tutorial, blah blah. This is not required, so we go here, create the app, and here we go, and here is the app ID, which we just copy then over, go back into our Fusion sample, which already welcomes us here. We can enter our app ID, I guess, here, and this should be it, right? Look, how can I save this? Uh, just for the sake of completeness, you have to hit enter after pasting the app ID here, and then this will work.